Hi Halter peeps, it's Dawn Danner with Alba Medical. I am here live from the DPCA National. We're ringside during bitch judging on Friday. And I am here today with Sandy and her dog Cole and Jill who purchased a DR200 from the booth. And we are going to be hooking up um, Cole with her unit. It is his first time being haltered and wearing the vest. Um, we've decided not to shave him. He is being shown this weekend. So we are going hi Cole. <laughs> We're gonna alcohol prep the areas and get that set up for his electrodes. So Sandy, I'm just gonna have you hold him. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna take my alcohol preps, so just some gauze that I've laced with alcohol. We're gonna prep, I'm sorry, sweetheart the area where I'm placing the electrodes. I like to do about a clipper length, a cl clipper width back from the elbow. It's gonna be about right here, I'm gonna go straight up. Since we're not shaving him, I definitely wanna make sure I do a real good wipe down of alcohol to remove excess hair, debris, and oils from his coat and skin. Um, if it's a sh dog that's heavily shown, any dog that has a lot of coat spray in it, you definitely want to make sure you wipe all of that off. Your electrodes aren't going to stick real well. Okay, we're going to let that dry. We're going to go to the other side. Do the same thing on the other side. Good boy. Good job. Definitely helps to have um, your subject up on some sort of grooming table. We have him up on a box here in the booth, but a grooming table definitely helps for a fast and efficient hookup. So the next part of this is I definitely want those areas that I just wiped to be completely dry before I put on the electrodes. So wet surface is not going to do well with adhesive pads. So while that's um, drying, I can start on my next part of this. Hi, Cole. Okay. So I'm going to grab my electrode packet, which comes in your little hookup kit from Alba Medical. You need one kit per dog, per study. And you, you only want to use electrodes that are sealed in a foil packet. The next thing you want to do is check the expiration date on the packets. It should be good, valid. I have used packets up to about six months past dating and done okay. But ideally I would like you to use packets that are not expired. So I'm ready to hook up this dog so I'm going to open my packet, get that ready for application. Your unit is also going to come with, pardon me Julie, um, a hookup diagram. And you're basically going to hook up your electrodes according to your hookup chart. Um, all of the documents for Alba Medical can be found on the website. So this document, all the other hookup charts for all the other units and your transmission can all be found on albamedical.com. Great resource. We also have a newsletter there and various articles that I've written over time. So that's a great uh, resource for you to utilize. Hi, Cole. Are you ready? Cole wants to read my chart. Okay. Okay, Cole, let's take a look. Can you stand for me? Good boy. Let's just check. I just do a quick check on both sides and make sure it's dry. It is. Okay, Julie, we'll do the left side first. So today we're hooking up a 5-lead DR200. So on the 5-lead, we do 2 on the left, or show side and three on the right, or non-show side. So I'm gonna mount my electrodes first. So when peeling them off, I do limit the handling of the sticky pads. Oh cool, I need you to stand. He's like, I don't want to. 
Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Good job, buddy. Okay, again, clipper length. Kind of have him set up normal. Clipper length back from the elbow. And then I start low and go high. You can see these electro electrodes are a little different shape than the ones I was using yesterday. Um, oops, no, nope. two, we're going to do three on the other side. Again, clipper length back, low. Good boy. <laughs> Ideally, I want these mounted on his chest so that they're independent. I don't want them touching. Hi, Hi. we have a visitor. That's okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Put a little pressure on there. I'm trying to um, just encourage more contact. <coughs> Ideally, I like these to sit on the body one to two minutes before I weigh them down with wires. Mm -hmm. Allow the contact to set a little bit. Um, a lot of people always have questions in regards to shaving or not. So I have a lot of show people that do not want to shave because they're showing the dog in a confirmation ring or a blue or a fawn where owners are concerned about sha concerned about shaving coat and the coat never coming back so we absolutely can halter without shaving the act of shaving increases your adhesiveness of the pad to the skin so instead of the pad being attached to hair it's attached to skin. I do find the electrodes stay on better. But we do, lot, we've do. we done lots of dogs here at the National where they come back next day, the electrodes are absolutely 100% in place. So I would rather people halter and not shave than not halter at all. So let's check the other side. Okay, I test them by just kind of touching the corners and these are good to go. So I'm going to take my wires. I like to take them off the machine when I'm still working with the dog. You notice I still haven't worked with the machine. That's the last step. Get that there. And two wires go on the left and three go on the right. Doesn't matter which color. No, it absolutely does matter which okay. color. Okay. So how I remember this, it's on your hookup chart, but Doberman colors on the show side. Okay. Doberman colors on the left. Christmas colors on the right. Now, let's say you accidentally did this in reverse and we noticed it tomorrow. Well, Elba Medical is also going to notice that when it gets to the office. And the beauty of computer programs is that we have the ability to swap that around. So in the event you were to accidentally hook up this dog groups in reverse, ideally we don't want you to do that. But if we do, please still transmit that study to us. We can absolutely make a valid report from that study. You know, any questions, probably best to transmit it and call, then rehalter the dog. We can always rehalter. So, Cole, you're being very good. <laughs> All right. So I've got my Doberman colors on the left side of the dog. I am going to hook them up in accordance to the order. I'll show you that says brown on the bottom, black on the top. Uh-oh. It's okay, Cole. Yeah, thank you. There we go. I do like to make sure Cole's got some... These new wires come with these little plastic gumbies to help keep them together. I do slide them up so that Cole's got enough room. When he lies down, 
he's going to need a little more wire than he will when he's standing. Does that make sense? So I do want to make sure he has extra wire so he's comfortable. So the wires just kind of push onto these electrodes. I don't push directly on the electrode. I run my finger up under it, the pad, and push. I'll show you that when I get to the other side. Black, same thing. I put it on the button, but I'm actually pushing on my finger, not the electrode. The reason for that is I think it's a little painful to be yeah. <laughs> poking directly to bone. Do you kind of orient the wires up? Again, for maximum capacity of the length of the wire. <laughs> cool, I'm not doing your toe yet. Okay, cool. We're on to the Christmas side. Okay, give me that. Same thing on this side. The order is green, goes toward the ground. White is in the middle. And red is on top. Okay, same thing. Easy enough. Easy enough. Yeah. This Elasticon is available on Amazon.com. I'm really only using it to assure, you know, these wires just kind of snapped on. They can kind of snap off too. So I had an experienced cardiologist tell me I should put a bit, little bit of Elasticon on there just to help assure they don't snap off easily. So um, the tape is only there to keep those wires attached to the electrodes and discourage the snap off. Okay? So we're going to put um, his vest on him next. Okay, we're applying a large vest. This is a dog legs vest available through Alba Medical. And this vest is specifically designed for a halter monitor. Hi, cool. I'll have you hold that side. And then we'll pop his legs through. Good boy. Cole's convinced I'm doing his nails. <laughs> okay. Okay, you can see on this, the right side of the vest, there's typically a slit. The slit is for the wires. So we're going to put the hub of my wires through. Just make sure it's comfortable on him. I'm going to work on adjustment more later. Right now I'm just kind of getting it ready so I can check my unit. Okay, Jill, why don't you come around here and we're going to work with the unit. So now we're going to start up this unit for recording. First thing I do is mount my wires. Confirm there's an SD card in there. It's not going to run if you don't have one, by the way. It'll look for it but not be able to find it. And put my battery in this unit. It's a DR200. There's no on and off switch. So the patient can't turn it off inadvertently. Okay. So we're going to put in our battery to turn this guy on. And put on our slip. It's going to boot up, tell you it's a northeast monitor. And this unit basically walks you through everything. So Jill, if you okay. tells me enter to start. So the first thing we're going to do, let's confirm he can sit if he wants. Oh, yeah. Good boy. There you go, buddy. Okay, here. Let's take that out from under his foot. That way he's comfortable. There we go. So, this is this, the first time we're using this unit. Let's check the settings. So, we just take our arrow down to settings and hit enter. We're going to go down to date and time. And what time is it, ladies? It is 11.23. Okay, so we are going to change this to 11. Huh? 23? 23. Okay. And today is the 14th, so the rest of it is correct. We just moved the time. 
This is also where if you decided, right now all of these units are set to record for an extended period of time. This unit can also do other functions. So it can be an event only recorder. And this is where you would change that. For us, for dogs, we're, we're never gonna do that. But this, this unit actually does a whole lot more than what we use it for. So we're gonna go back and do new patient information. This is where you're gonna input something to identify Cole. So that you know beyond a shadow of a doubt when his report comes back, this indeed is his information. Okay. What you put in this window is going to appear on your report as patient ID. Most people put a call name or oh, a birthday. Yep. Okay, so Nicole. we're gonna do, the DR200 has the ability, hi Cole, to do alpha and numerical. So we're going to, I'll just put KOH. <laughs> oh. It's spelled C O L E. Yeah, okay, well, we just went. Once you hit enter and go on to the next letter, you can't go back. Oh. Oh. So, in the event that this were to happen and you absolutely wanted the call name in there, what I would do is pop this over, take out the battery, take out the battery, put in a new SD card, and start again. Okay. You can finish up with this date of birth. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. I was going to do a K and I ended up with a. Good boy. I know, sweetheart. Okay, when we're done, we're going to hit event. At this point, the unit is going to start. Hi, Mimi. Thanks for joining us. We're live on Facebook. Hi, bud. Are you pretty? <laughs> what are they doing to you? They're making sure you're happy. Hello, hello. <laughs> so we are now checking our hookup. The DR200 digital unit has the ability to check your hookup prior to start. This is important because we know the unit is working properly, your wires are working, my hookup is good, the electrodes are working. Everything's good to go before we set Cole on a 24-hour mission of wearing this unit. So what we're visually seeing here are three recordings of ECG. Every halter monitor records three independent tracings of ECG. In the end, I only need one recording, one tracing or one channel working to get your report. So the take home on that is if he were to lose an electrode or two, still you're still to gonna get a good report. So please do not discontinue the report if you find one wire has come off. I would save your electrodes, reapply if a sticky came off, rehook up and continue going. Now, I would only save these for 24 hours. <laughs> After 24 hours, they need to be destroyed. Yeah, they need to be tossed. I would actually put this in a plastic bag and save it, okay? Most of the time, though, they don't come off. So, um, right now, I have all threes on my channels. Actually, oops. <coughs> Sorry, Cole. I have a five, a four, and a five. So, the maximum score is a five. And um, five, three or three, four, or five is good to go. Okay. okay? So we are in excellent shape for this unit. So down here it says event to start. I'm going to hit event. The unit's going to start counting down. Oh, you got to hold it in. Yeah. Going to tell you recording has started. And then it's going to revert to a time. I will tell you that the, right now it says 11.27 because it's 11.27 in the morning here. At 1 o'clock it's going to say 13.27. Okay. It's military time. It is time. It's not counting up. It's not counting down. It's not a timer. It's not counting down. It's only showing you the time. So tomorrow at 11.30 we're going to see Jill back and Cole. 
and we're going to take this unit off. We'll check our electrodes and their placements and see how things go. We'll see if Jill has any questions. Now let's just say Jill didn't hit a vent and she's still on the window where she's checking the tracings. I will tell you that this unit is kind of, I hate to say dummy proof, but it's kind of dummy proof. So if you leave it in that mode, it is going to time out and start recording in about 15 minutes. That is why oh, I don't want to work with the unit first and then putts with the dog. Mm -hmm. I want to do the dog first and then work with my unit because this will time out before I can get the dog finished. Okay? So if the unit is showing time, it is recording. Now let's say you, you accidentally did that. You worked with the unit, then the dog. Come back to the unit, it's showing a time. This happens more than you think. There's another safety mode in there, and it's called a power fail mode. So if you were to take the battery out because you want to restart, you want to go from ground zero with this and go through the whole, I'm sorry, Cole, hookup. You're going to take out the battery and you need to put in another card because the unit knows that it had a power fail and it was in a study. It is pre-programmed to restart the study if it's 59 minutes or less. If it's over 59 minutes, if it's an hour or over an hour, then it's going to revert to restarting from ground zero. Okay? So the take home message on that is if you need to start again and do a hookup, switch out the SD card. If you only have one SD card, then wait an hour and a minute and start again. Okay? So the last thing we're going to do is it is raining here on and off here at the National. I do recommend people protect their investment. So for every hookup kit, you have a wonderful little plastic bag. So we are going to put this unit in the plastic bag. Nothing digital loves water, including our iPhones, right? So we're going to protect this unit in some plastic. We're then going to put this unit where's my in, in the pocket, which is specific for this DR200. Oh, it's not a cookie. You deserve a cookie, though. You've been good. Okay, hold on. So we're going <laughs> to... Oh, cookie going to put this unit in its SD, in its pocket. Would you prefer this on the top or the side? Probably on the top. On the top. Okay. So first, can you hold that? The first thing I'm going to do is snug this down now, since everything's working. I'll tell you that I have found over holtering lots of dogs that they do like it form-fitting. So snug it up as best you can. You know, not too tight, but fairly snug. They, they don't... If it's snug, then they don't spend all day shaking it off. Right. Okay? He's got lots of clearance everywhere. I've got the vest covering my electrodes. So I'm going to place this on the top, and then I kind of pump back in my excessive wire. I don't want anything hanging for him to get caught on. So I kind of just tuck everything in. Hey, buddy. Hey, I'm going to have you stand one more time, and then we'll be done, okay? You get a big cookie. <laughs> okay, so the last thing is the placement of the belt. The primary placement of the belt is to hold this unit on, on the coat. It does have Velcro on the back, but that's really not enough to keep it there. So I placed the belt for two reasons. One, to hold your unit, but two, so I really like it to have, I really like to have some extra pressure over those electrodes. So one of the reasons why I put them in one line is so that I can run this belt over them. So go down this side over those electrodes. I'm going to feel and go up the other side. You know, not too tight that he can't breathe, but fairly snug. Okay? And that's it. Cole's done. He's going to come back and see us in 24 hours. We're going to take this unit off. We are here during the entire national. The booth will close at the end of Best of Breed tomorrow. We will be, um, we have a great promo running. It's basically...